If you want to film tigers, get an elephant. Preferably one that can carry a camera. These LA cams have already told the story of four cubs growing up. They filmed as the cubs practiced their killing and fighting skills. But then the cubs' mother was injured and a rogue male entered their territory. This was the cubs' greatest challenge yet. The cubs flee across the dammed lake in the center of Pench Tiger Reserve. They have reason to be worried. A strange male will kill cubs so that he can have the chance of mating with their mother. The cubs must put as much distance as they can between them and him. The male decides not to follow. But while he's around, the cubs are in danger, particularly as their mother is injured. They reach the far shore. Although they have bought some time, they're still in danger, for their father, when last seen, was also injured. The elephant camera team set off to find him. They head towards the alarm calls of prey that so often give away a tiger's location. And here he is, the aptly named Charger. He was last seen nearly two weeks ago. Then he had wounds on his side from a fight and was unusually subdued. But it's a different story now. He's back to his old belligerent self. The cubs are not far away. Now, with Charger back to fighting fitness, they have some much needed protection. But what they need right now is a meal. They're 15 months old and certainly big enough to catch a small deer. But have they yet developed the necessary skill? Here's a chance for them. better than that if they're to survive as adults. They still need their mother's help and tuition. The elephants check to see how she is getting on. They find her where they saw her last. The wound on her side is still visible. But she seems considerably perkier. Tiger saliva contains a strong antibiotic, so even serious wounds rarely go septic. It seems she might be all right. The cubs, when without her, stick closely together. When one makes a move, they all do.
They can't resist play fighting, even though the strange male must still be on their mind. And then a tiger seems to appear in the water. The cub tries an alternative crossing, but the water tiger is there as well. Best to take the long way round. Submerged tigers forgotten, he joins the game. Cubs must spend another night on their own. Next day, the cubs have caught something. It's a pangolin, a scaly anteater. They last encountered one when they were just a few months old. Then it scared them. Now it's a different story. This slow-moving animal must have been easy to catch. It may be interesting, but it's not much of a meal. Pangolins exude a foul odour like a skunk, so few animals eat them, and the cubs decide not to try. They're so absorbed in their game, they nearly miss an important arrival. It's their mother. They're safe once more. She seems fully fit. Her cubs are hungry and she leads them away towards the best hunting grounds. Log cam can film animals automatically. It will switch itself on when something is happening, even when the elephants are not around. One has recorded golden jackals, and they have got pups just three weeks old. There are six of them and they've just started to venture out of the den. But for safety, they must stay close to the entrance. This pup, however, has other ideas. Fortunately, mother quickly spots him. and she shepherds him back to the safety of the den. The tiger family are back at the lake, but this time their mother is with them. She's caught a sambar deer and seems intent on dragging it into the water. The cubs appear to be eager to help, but it's not clear what they're trying to achieve. They're certainly enjoying themselves and need little excuse for a game of chase.
tigers do sometimes kill prey in water, so this is all good practice, as are the running leaps and the rugby tackles. The mother seems to have her own plan for the carcass and continues to drag it away. For her cubs, it's still just a game. The natural buoyancy of her kill makes it easier for the mother to move it through the water, but the cubs aren't helping one little bit. She finally drags it to the shore, but out of water, it's hard going. The cubs still love play fighting, but as they get bigger and more powerful, their blows seldom make serious contact during their sparring. The mother perseveres with her puzzling mission. She seems to be tiring, unlike her cubs, who have energy to spare. Their play is now about testing each other, to see who is top cat. The mother's chosen obstacle course runs across an inlet of water that cuts through the shoreline. She's determined to get the carcass to the other side. The cubs show no interest in helping. Samba are India's largest deer, and this is hard graft even for a tigress in her prime. Female cubs play more aggressively than males. They may eventually set up neighbouring territories, so perhaps it's safer to sort out their differences now before they can do much harm to one another. But it'll be some time before they acquire their mother's formidable strength. When they finally fight, they seem to really mean it. Perhaps, after all, they realize that it will be dangerous to continue. After their mother has been laboring for an hour, her intentions have become clear. She simply wanted to take the carcass into shade. Rock bees are among India's most dangerous creatures. They will launch devastating mass attacks to protect their hive. Fortunately for this crested hawk eagle, when they're away from the nest, they're surprisingly good-natured. The cubs are now 17 months old. This male cub greeting his mother is almost as big as she is. <laughs> 